Ola Capricorn, this is your compatibility reading for a relationship or a potential relationship with a Taurus. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. Make sure you factor in your mate or potential mates, um, other sun signs, because that can influence things. These readings will not be in a timeline. I will upload them to YouTube, and they will be up forever, ever, ever, because we all go through a lot of relationships in a lifetime. When you view it is when you are meant to see it. I'm doing these in the order of most views by sign. Capricorn came in about number five, I think. Um, make sure you check playlists for other signs frequently and or subscribe. First portion of this will be the bones of the relationship, so I'll pull the main cards. The second portion will be a bonus Vimeo link. Just click on the link below. It'll take you where you want to go, where I will pull clarifiers and go more in-depth in regards to this relationship or potential relationship. If you would like a personalized compatibility reading or otherwise, please email me. My email is below along with my rates and info. So let's see what's going on between a Capricorn and a Taurus. By the way, this unison is rated great from a scale from, I mean, best from a scale of best to unfavorable. The reason why you will do well with the Taurus is because they're great with financial matters and they warm your chilly ways, okay? Because they have that sentimentality to them. So, Holy Spirit, Angels, Divine Guides of the Universe, can you please show me relationship or potential relationship between a Capricorn and a Taurus. Can you please show me Capricorn's position in this relationship, the Taurus's position in this relationship, what would lie between them, whether it be for better or worse, and how will they move forward in this relationship? Please grant the objectivity to read these cards as they're intended to be read and say your messages as you intend to be said for a relationship or potential relationship between a Capricorn and a Taurus. Holy Spirit Angels, can you please show me Capricorn's stance, position, or contribution to this relationship with a Taurus? We have the Queen of Cups in reverse. Hmm. Can you please show me the position, stance, contribution, the Eight of Swords, and the reversed? Okay. What lies between you guys is the High Priestess in reversed. And then moving forward, we have the Queen of Swords in reverse. That's so funny. I think I had that for Cancer Capricorn. In the same exact position. And it was I was thinking the same thing as I was doing this. Because I was going to say, even though this counts as, you know, best in terms of relationship, that means astrologically, you know, the sun signs line up. Um, it doesn't mean that it's going to be without its, its share of work or troubles. That doesn't mean that it's going to be a fairy tale, okay? It's just you're going to have um, different problems and more likely to work through them than, say, somebody that rates as unfavorable. And again, there's also stuff in our other parts of our chart that, you know, designate this stuff. So over here we have Queen of Cups for you, Capricorn. So you guys really aren't about the feels. Um, I, I feel like for some of you, the Queen of Cups... She, she can actually have like distorted emotions in a way, um, a runaway emotions. Um, in the upright, she's very nurturing and she's devoted and supportive. And I know the Queen of Cups ordinarily in the reverse, you can be a little bit of a whack job. But I don't, I don't feel that here. I feel like you guys just don't really know how to manage your emotions um, or express them or relate to other people's emotions. So I, I feel like... And, and be careful, Capricorns, because I know you guys manipulate when it comes to stuff. So this is part of it, too, because she can be a manipulator. All right? So I do think that's part of it. Like, you just, when it comes to emotions, you, you deal more with the concrete. So when you get into the feels, you get a little bit kind of all over the place. You don't know how to manage them or how to express them or how to relate to them. Or when you do have them, sometimes you use them to manipulate your partner. So I feel like that's sort of like what's going over, on over here with you guys in this relationship. Eight of Swords here, we have the Taurus. So the Taurus is kind of being a reaction to your actions. Um, they're kind of imprisoned because of this. So, and they're kind of, they're having this conversation with themselves. Um, maybe they feel stuck. They feel like they always seem to fall into a relationship with the same type of person. Um, and and it's, it's, it's kind of an imprisonment that they're kind of, you know, causing themselves. I also don't feel like you guys are really having like conversations about this. I feel like, you know, you both are kind of in your separate corners. The Taurus is sitting here being like, um, you know, a little, I don't mean to be cliche in regards to Taurus, but a little bit stubborn, wanting to be right in regards to things. So they're just kind of sit, sitting stuck. Um, but that's what I'm kind of getting. I get in the emotion department, you guys aren't relating on that level and, and almost like, missing each other on some some plane like the two planes just kind of cross and miss each other in that regard but we know in practical matters you guys have a very strong 
um, relationship. So, you know, maybe it, when it comes to emotions, you guys are a little squirrely, but you know, when it comes to fixing up the house or, you know, counting coins, you guys are all about that. So, so just that in itself is a foundation. High priestess in reverse. And this is the part I was getting to. What lies between you is you guys really do not trust yourselves in regards to this relationship. The whole concept of intuition and what you can't see is lost on you guys. So as a result, you have blocked in, you block your intuition. Um, things are murky. Any Anything that's not tangible, you have a hard time with. And in order for this relationship to kind of happen, you have to kind of um, learn to interpret the intangible, learn to operate with the elusive and things like that. So you guys really need to turn this card around and trust in yourselves and your inner selves and your gut feelings. Um, and also be comfortable with the fact that some people don't throw everything out there. Some people, um, they have some things that they like to keep tucked away, like not less necessarily a secret. It could be like a personal, I hate secrets because it has a, you know, dark connotation to it, but just some things they don't like to share. And, and I feel like that that has to be respected too. Um, but there are some things with high priestess of reverse that you guys do need to kind of get out and talk about. Now, you are going to figure this all out because we have the Queen of Swords. And I just think it's beautiful that this was in the, the Cancer reading because it was very similar. Um, so with the Queen of Swords, you guys actually, you you see things, you see the bigger picture, okay? So rather than, you know, these little things you guys are getting caught up in, you're seeing the foundation, what your strengths are, why you guys are together. Um, you guys know that you guys have had a run of relationships and, and you know, you at this point, you kind of know what you want and how you want things, okay? Um, you're both independent beings. So it's really, it, you'll have an understanding going forward that you guys can be interdependent, meaning you can be in a couple, but you guys can still kind of do your own things. And, and that doesn't necessarily have to mean anything. You're going to be, um, become more, it, it, Queen of Swords can be head over heart, but I feel like in this, in this, um, scenario, it's using your heart in a logical and cool way, having total honesty between the two of you. So I really think with the Queen of Swords, you guys are going to clear things up, but this relationship goes on. If you want to find out more in regards to this, I'm going to be pulling clarifiers on this next in the Vimeo link. Just click below. It'll take you where you need to go. Otherwise, Capricorns, best of luck to your relationship with your Taurus. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.